All right, so today my plan is to test out my Zoop 450 solar panel on the Anchor Solex. However, I've got to drain some battery first, I believe. Power it up. Right now it's at 99%. So I need to get some drain. So for that, I'm going to unplug this guy which is the air conditioner as you can all see that's the cord I'll put this up here that's the cord straight to the air conditioner now i'm going to plug this guy in here as i can pull this up got a tripod use it push that guy in there Okay, turn this little inverter on. I say little. As you can see, it just beeped up the air conditioner. And with the remote, seeing as how we got this whole setup going, and let's wait for it to kick on and see, make sure everything's okay. Because I've never done it with a 6,000 BTU unit before. Put this up just a little bit more. Perfect. So let's see what we get. Can the unit pull it off? I'm pretty sure it can. I don't know. I've never really actually tested it. Right now it's running 60 watts. Is that? Yep, 60 watts for the blower. And come on, just kick on. 7 watts, 72. Just kind of toggling around right there. Wait out too much longer. Come on, buddy. Actually, the air conditioner is being a little. Let's see if I. Oh, that's. There's the compressor. 470, 515 watts. 522. 533. 528, all right, so 533 and 535 now, 534, 535, 536, so 539. All right, so I'll leave this running for a little bit and uh, oh, 541. Leave this running for a little bit and let it drag this stuff down and uh, see what happens. Oh wow, boy, it dropped that fast, but that's considered too that the compressor has probably been on the entire time to go from 99 to 78. Anyway, so that's good enough. Just basically what we're wanting to do is see what kind of power charge we can get going into the Zoop W panel which is a 450 watt panel that we're going to be testing today. Oh boy, it's an absolute hot one today. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's pretty good. So here's the deal. I've got this connector here. This is what originally comes with the Zoop control uh, solar panel itself. But I am going to use the Anchor Supplied, even though I'd probably get better results with this. We might just check it out, but I'm looking to look, run this in rain and stuff, so I really want to use these. <clears throat> so I bought this back. Ooh, how long ago was it? 
Back in January. They put it in a nice case. This is for the cables. I don't put the cables in there though because, you know. All right. So here we go. Ow. Thing weighs a ton. All right. So. I'm going to open this guy up. Hopefully I don't run into any snakes. Cables. Little wind. Let's see if I can make it work. Apparently you can set this up by yourself. I don't know. Gonna give it a go. So, I can tell you that the brackets underneath that actually support this, the uh, stands, the kickstands, they uh, had recalled this. Take that back. Not recalled. Not recalled. But customers apparently were complaining that the kickstands were coming apart. So they do have an option available as to where you can go and get it get some stands delivered to you and they'll send you some rivets and stuff and you can put it right together but you'd have to drill the holes out where the original rivets are find out wherever I put my other cable oh the lens right in see if the camera's still in the shot okay we're doing good we're doing good okay so I do have this breaker switch here for safety reasons hopefully it works the way I think it should so I'm press and hold and okay there we go getting somewhere So let's see, flip this, let's see if we start getting anything. Four twenty-two, one twenty-nine. There's absolutely no shadowing whatsoever on these panels. One oh three my first time ever trying these out too Ooh, got scared by a bird <laughs> i hate being in the backyard i'm waiting for a snake to just sneak right up on me so probably should go get my ipad and see about <clears throat> Well, yeah, maybe not the perfect angle. I do know if you were to get a can, all right, so pick back up to 106, 154. Let me keep this in foot 378. Nice, 426. Now it's 449. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get the iPad, see if we can see if these drive out.
it's called Zoop W 450 watt version. I think it's 122 inches from end to end. I know it's three feet in height. Top to bottom. Well, anyway, so not bad. You know, like I said, um, yeah, I judging by the sun is more up than anything. If I, if I was able to tilt this, I don't have any bracing, so it wouldn't work out for me very well. But nice test anyway. We got up 84% after we drained it off of the air conditioner. All right, so that is it for the Zoop W450 watt solar panel. Like I said, I bought this in January off Amazon. It was, I got it on a deal because it, it was originally $509, but it ended up being like uh, some kind of flash sale of some sort.